What's up everyone? So I'm here today with another unboxing vid and this one is going to be really fun for me uh, because what I have in here is a jacket that I've wanted for some time. Um, I've never seen it in person but it is pretty iconic and uh, when I first laid eyes on it a couple of years ago I think um, it was too far out there for me to want to actually buy it. And then over time, I've kind of come around to really wanting this um, and then needing to find a source for it and uh, also finding one in my size, which is pretty critical with what I have in here. So before I get into this, let me explain kind of what's going on. So um, as much as it might look like I like sneakers, um, I'm actually much more into jackets. I love interesting jackets. I probably have a collection of 70 uh, jackets that um, at the moment I don't think I could bear it apart with. And uh, hanging behind me are four that I would classify as um, awesome, eclectic, and also in many ways completely unwearable. So as an example, I have this one right here, which is a ACG Parka. And uh, actually all of these kind of fall within the, um, the Nike ACG line when Errolson Hugh was uh, kind of running the design of it. So it's got, you know, a very kind of acronym feel. Um, this one in particular illustrates my point about sizing because this is a size large. I'm normally a size medium in Nike. Size medium Nike fits me perfectly. Um, and as you can probably see, uh, these run a little bit oversized. Um, if they're meant to be layered, uh, you know, I mean, look like a giant poof ball. I really dig the pattern. I really dig the style. I've never worn this in public. I don't know if I ever actually will. Um, but this is definitely a keeper. So up next, I've got the same parka in a different colorway and also a different size. So this one is a small and I have had one opportunity to wear this in Lake Tahoe where it was actually cold enough that it made sense. And you can see based on the fit, fits much more snugly. Um, to me, this is the size I would go for. I'm about 5 foot 11, 190 pounds. And, you know, I would rock the small, I think, over a medium or a large. I don't tend to layer in California and this jacket is super warm. Um, if I wear this just around my area, you know, moderate climate, 60, 70 degrees, I will start sweating in this thing inside of 10, 15 minutes. So really unwearable for the climate that I live in. And then we have these, which are much more wearable here. So you can see this has really got, kind of got that acronym design uh, language. It is uh, an ACG Gore-Tex trench coat type of thing. This one is also a small. And this is light enough that I really can wear this out. Um, and be comfortable in it, but it's also certainly got styling where, you know, you want to just wear this to the grocery store or something. Uh, you got to have kind of the, the corresponding sense of occasion to be wearing this out. So I've got this in two colorways. This kind of uh, olive green. And black. And, you know, both of these uh, I really, really like a lot in terms of the style. Um, very avant-garde, really functional, lots of pockets, you know, 
rainproof. Um, but still, I haven't really worn either of these out more than once, if even. Uh, I can't even actually remember. That being said, what I have in this box here is basically in the same vein, but even more out there. So let's take a look. Wow, this was from an individual seller and he very neatly packaged this. It's a pretty nice touch. Here we go. What do we have here? We have off-white for Nike with the iconic logo on the back with the giant eagle. This is basically the uh, Mercurial NRG off-white Nike collab for I believe the 2018 World Cup and Nike Lab. I knew I wanted this. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, it's not Gore-Tex, so you know, even though it might look similar to the other coats, it's actually a completely different material. Um, from feeling it, I would say it, it still feels like it's gonna be waterproof, but it's, it's very soft has a very premium feel to it. And from watching videos about this, I came to the same conclusion that uh, even though I'm normally a size medium in Nike anything, these run very, very large. And therefore, I really should source a small. And um, if you try to find these, you'll realize that smalls are much harder to come by and much more expensive. Um, but I believe it's all about the fit. Uh, for something like this, so pay the extra money, get the correct size. Let's see if this fits. I'm actually not sure if it will. It's got really nice ring poles, metal ring poles for the zippers. Makes it really easy to zip. Got some pretty cool cords to tighten around the waist for that look. Velcro is kind of neat. Got circles instead of a giant Velcro patch. And then from a design perspective, um, because this was for the World Cup, these dots that you see were supposed to be um, ideal strike points, which you would find um, on the shoes if you were going to kick a football or soccer ball in the United States. Uh, these would be on the points of your foot where it would be ideal placement to kick a ball um, into the goal or pass it or something. On the coat, doesn't really make any sense. Uh, just a cool design, but Man, I am loving this. I think this was worth every penny. So this retails for $500. Um, I think the other coats that I had generally were in that ballpark, 400, 450. All of those other ones I was able to source, I believe somewhere in the 200 to 250 range. This one I actually had to pay over retail. Um, I paid 550 for this and I love it. I mean, I really do. I think this this probably uh, 
rises certainly up to among the top of uh, my favorite jackets that I've got. And um, funny enough, I think I'm actually more likely to wear this one out in public than the other ones because this makes a, a statement, I think, in, in all the right ways. I think it's a very iconic jacket. I think as jackets go among our generation, this is probably up there in terms of being one of the most recognizable. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy. I love it. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one.